All right, welcome back. Danny Williams from the Collins Center for the Art is here. Danny, thank you for stopping hello, by. Hello, hello. Happy, uh, happy summer and uh, happy Friday. Happy Barbie Day. Yes, right? thank you. I know. Okay. Thank you for noticing. Finally, someone noticed. Uh, <laughs> but uh, we appreciate you coming through. Good and to be here. Uh, we always love chatting, but uh, today, of course, uh, a little bit more poignant with the passing of, of Tony Bennett, who yeah. actually you got a chance to spend some time with when he yeah. played uh, in Orono in 97. Yeah, right. 90, 1997, uh, Tony Bennett was uh, opened the season. He was our guest. I was the chair, the co-chair of the gala committee, and uh, I had the good fortune of being able to meet with him for a little bit backstage and also introduce him. And uh, it goes without saying that um, the night was one of the most memorable uh, that, that I can remember. He was a, a legend. He was a giant for all the, for all the reasons. Uh, and really, I know it's overused a lot, but a national treasure. Sure. Um, I mean, and, eight decades. I, I mean, it, just it, with chart toppers. It's it's unbelievable, and and remained relevant. Um, he, he, he performed in Portland in 2019. Um, we tried to get on that tour, and we, we just couldn't make the routing work. But uh, he was he was going strong. He was he was 93, uh, and so he was uh, he crossed so many generations and uh, was just a was a real gentleman. Um, and I will never forget backstage. Right before he went on, he said to me, "You know, Danny, uh, a, a place uh, you know a town really is elevated with a place like this, meaning the then Main Center for the Arts." He recognized Recognized what how special a place it was for a small uh, rural community uh, like uh, li like we are, and he recognized it, and he of course brought the house down that night. It was it was remarkable. Well, when you think about that, it's couldn't be more true. Yeah. To think yeah. about what comes in, and we'll get to some of the you know the things that are coming to the uh, Collins Center now. Right, right. Was the, the the gala back yeah, then, right? Right. Right. Uh, right, right. But uh, it, it just the offerings that you know how many people get to see Tony Bennett. Yeah. Not right. everybody has something like that, that at their fingertips. And that's exactly why the the why the main center for the arts and now Collins Center for the arts. That's exactly why it exists was to bring things to our region, to bring things to our area that you might not otherwise be able to see. There are a lot more things now in the greater Bangor region uh, in terms of entertainment options, which I think is great. And everybody has their uh, a little specialty, and we have ours. Uh, but it's really uh, remarkable to see uh, what what has happened in the in the Bangor region, including the, uh, uh, the the Collins Center for the Arts. And I know it's just a personal story, but just tell that story you were telling me off air about being yeah. in San Francisco at the right place, right time. Uh, boy, uh, nine years ago, my wife and I were in San Francisco. We had a uh, we had a uh, an event at the Fairmount Hotel. And as we approached, we could tell that something was going on. We weren't sure what. We were we were there early, and uh, my wife went into the hotel and she texted me and she said, "Tony Bennett is here," and she said, "He's here because they're going to dedicate the statue uh, that's outside to him, and he's going to do a concert." And so. <laughs> there I was with thousands of people listening to Tony Bennett sing, I left my heart in San Francisco in front of the Fairmount Hotel in San Francisco. You talk about the right place at the right time. It was it was remarkable. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, well, that's great. Uh, if you want to be at the right place at the right time, let's start with yeah, uh, yeah. Grace Potter on Thursday, yeah. September the 7th yeah. at the Collins Center for the Arts. Yeah, we are, our, our 37th season is, uh, is, is, is in full swing, uh, about to be, uh, and we're starting with Grace Potter, a real wonderful a collaboration with um, with Waterfront Concerts. Um, a couple weeks later, Rhiannon Giddens, who may not be as household a name, uh, but she is a an incredible. Uh, uh, Piano, uh, banjo player. She played with the Carolina Chocolate Drops. She won the Pulitzer Prize for Music this year. She's had an opera. She's a MacArthur Fellow. She is incredible, and it is a huge get for us. Um, she is going to be uh, amazing. We, of course, are always happy to have comedian Bob Marley uh, back in, uh, in October. Uh, our gala this year is going to be Momix um, doing a show called Alice, which is going to be uh, a, a, a take on Alice in Wonderland, um, which is going to be a lot of fun. And our, our gala is going to be a, a Mad Hatter's party. Oh, uh, okay. And so, and then we uh, we get into the holiday season with uh, Natalie McMaster and Donnell 
Leahy, um, they, uh, Natalie McMaster and, and her husband, Donnell, and their children. I think the last time she was here, she was seven, seven months pregnant dancing on stage. Uh, they have, I think their six or seven children all come out. It's like the Osmonds. Uh, and they play fiddle and they dance and they, uh, it's going to be a holiday, uh, a holiday show. Um, it's all going to be on our website, ColinCenterForTheArts.com. I will be back to talk more about yeah. it. There are going to be stuff added as we go throughout the season. But this is just a little a teaser, a little taste of, uh, of what's coming up. Mm. Tastes pretty good. Thank you so much, yes, uh, Danny. Much appreciated.